Hello and welcome to Long's Weekly Coffee Break. My name is Erica Nishioka. I'm one of the account executives with the security solutions team here in lovely Brenton, Washington. Hope everybody has a cup of coffee. Well, it's invisible, isn't it? Uh, a cup of coffee and ready to uh, spend the next 15 minutes with us learning about security topics. Today we have Mike Mullinex with Linnell S2 providing us with uh, information about version 8.0. Linnell on guard. Um, Linnell on guard is, or excuse me, Linnell S2 on guard is um, one of the two Linnell S2 products that, that Long supports, uh, Netbox being one, and then the on guard product being the second. So, Mike, I'm going to ask you to take it away. Thanks, Erica, and thanks for having me. Uh, welcome, everybody. My name is Mike Mullinex. I am the regional sales manager for Linnell S2 for the Pacific Northwest based out of Portland, Oregon. Um, like Erica mentioned, uh, we do uh, part of the Linnell S2 portfolio is the application platform called OnGuard, um, but we also do support the S2 Netbox product line um, and Long is a trusted partner for both of those products. Um, and we're, uh, we, we, we really enjoy having them as a partner. So um, very happy to be here today, giving you guys the uh, the quick the quick pitch on OnGuard 8.0. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. And down and dirty um, update, hey, Mike. I forgot to I forgot to mention if if people have questions, if they could please put them in the chat, um, and then we'll answer them at the end of the session. That'd be great. Thank you. Perfect. So, a quick little uh, slide on where we are focused as an organization. Um, you know, our platform uh, admit, self-admittedly kind of got a little bit behind the times at some point. Um, and so we've really turned the corner recently and we've really shifted our focus towards development, mobility, um, and making our applications a little bit more accessible from the browser, um, not having to rely on a thick client, um, while also supporting a number of cloud offerings. Unification, you'll see, is a big part of our story with the new integration support with Magic Monitor. Um, as that's kind of the star of the show today. And then as always, we're kind of leading the charge in cybersecurity and being able to tie all those systems together through integrations um, and things of that nature. So a little bit of where we're, where we're heading and where we, where we keep our, our focus on. Uh, I do not traditionally show any types of videos or anything for my presentations, but I do have a quick little video of where OnGuard 8.0 uh, is what it is offering to everybody. So I wanted to just take a moment and uh, flip over to a browser and show this video for you guys. So okay. let's Sounds uh, good. Thanks. make sure this plays. And I'm going to have to stop the share real fast. And go there. There we go. The OnGuard Access Control System version 8.0 delivers powerful visualization that can transform security data into actionable insights. This release provides a variety of major updates, including integration with the Magic Monitor client, enabling a unified view of a security environment, rich interactive maps, a new modern reporting engine, and more. The Magic Monitor client offers a unified security client which brings together access control, video surveillance, and external web content to greatly enhance situational awareness. Users can view and interact with OnGuard alarms and video, as well as cardholder data, badges, and access rights. Live and recorded video viewing from Linnell S2 NVR platforms and third-party video management systems is also supported. The OnGuard Reporting and Dashboards client leverages a modern reporting engine in the new OnGuard Reports browser client to provide powerful insights that enhance efficiency, safety, and security. This client offers standard and optional customized reporting to meet a variety of reporting needs. The OnGuard Dashboards feature enables visualization of system, cardholder, and alarm data in a variety of customizable graphical formats. The OnGuard Monitor client now features browser-based viewing of interactive OnGuard system maps, bringing facility layouts, dynamic system feedback, and action menus to any device. 
OnGuard version 8.0 also enables the Milestone X-Protect video management system to be viewed in the OnGuard monitor and OnGuard surveillance browser-based clients. The new OnGuard Watch browser client version 1.5 delivers system health dashboards in a web application, supporting easy access on tablets, laptops, or desktop computers. OnGuard 8.0 also includes new hardware integrations and cybersecurity upgrades to improve safety and convenience. These include integration with the Allegiant Von Duprin RU RM solution and a secure by default setting for Linell S2 X series controllers. To learn more about the OnGuard Access Control System version 8.0, contact your local Linell S2 sales representative. Mike, that was a lot of information. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a pretty big release for us. Um, a lot of our customers have been waiting for this release for quite a long time. Um, so if, if anybody is on the, on the call that has experience with our platform, um, that maybe, maybe you've seen our stuff last five, 10 years and, and where we're headed now, it's, it's a really big deal to kind of um, show you guys what we're, uh, what we're doing today with our latest release. Um, especially with this slide too, this is, this is what OnGuard looks like today. Um, traditionally, the Lamel OnGuard platform was a thick client-based platform, meaning that to use our application, you had to install the uh, application on a computer or a server or a workstation and log into those applications like you would any other installed thick client. Um, today, we have really been focusing on moving uh, that requirement out of a uh, application that you install and into a browser. So you can pretty much cover any sort of employee or any sort of user that you might have um, at a facility or a campus um, and uh, inject one of our applications into their day-to-day. -day. So whether it's just managing credentials, managing alarms, uh, visitors, anything of that nature, um, we kind of cover that with our with our browser apps. So we're uh, really, really excited um, to be moving away from the installed application and more into the browser space. Yeah, so the like just to clarify, the thick client is a is software that you actually have to load onto a computer, right? So somebody needs to go there, load the software onto the PC that it remains static, then you can only use it at that PC, right? And then this web clients and apps, allows much more freedom and flexibility, correct? Exactly, exactly. As you move people away from the installed fit client and onto the browsers, you know, especially when you start talking about doing things like big system upgrades and things like that, um, you know, you could be a general user who manages, you know, making badges every day. Typically, a system upgrade, someone would have to go and touch your computer. They'd have to go and they'd have to, you know, take an hour or two out of your day and install the application. Now they just get to show up in the morning, the system's been upgraded, they open the same link they do every day, um, and the upgrade takes a fraction of the time that it used to. So it's a pretty big deal to start moving away from the installed applications and into the browser for sure. Yeah, definitely, it sounds like it, thanks. Of course. Um, and kind of the star of the show today and in this release is the integration with the Magic Monitor Unified Client. So this was an application that was native to the S2 Netbox product line for quite some time. Uh, it was the brainchild of John Moss, who was the founder of S2, also the founder of Software House. Um, but this is a true unifying client that brings in, uh, it's almost like a mini PSIM, if you will. So it can bring in multiple access control systems like OnGuard and Netbox. You can bring in things like third-party video, Milestone, LNVR, uh, S2, uh, NetVR, or VRX. You can manage events, um, bring in very detailed maps and manage cardholder activity, different real-time widgets like monitoring traffic and uh, social media feeds. Uh, it's a really exciting application that uh, looks like a regular VMS from just a bird's eye view, but when you dig into it, um, it's, a, it's a unifying client that's gonna be a big part of our story um, going forward from this release on. So we're, we're really, really excited to bring this application into the on-guard world. So everything all in one place then? Yeah, yeah, truly, truly solves that, uh, that single pane of glass um, buzzword that everybody likes to throw around nowadays. And now we actually have one, so nice. it's nice. It is, very nice. 
Um, and what it does for us is it gives us system command and control from one place. So like, like I said, it's not just an application that you, that you use to uh, view on guard data. Um, it is, gives you the ability to bring in on guard information. You can bring in that box, you can bring in third party video. Um, and, uh, and, and again, not have to go anywhere else for your security needs and open up multiple applications. You just have magic monitor. So, um, again, really, really excited about it for this release. Um, and if you ever, need, if anyone ever needs a, uh, a demo or a uh, trial license, feel free to reach out to Erica or myself, and we'd be happy to guys get you guys going with, with uh, giving Magic Monitor a spin. All right, trial licenses, nice to know. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> um, another big part of this release is our web-based reporting engine. So typically OnGuard has been a, uh, or leveraged a crystal reports engine for reporting. Um, we have a brand new browser-based module that's built right into our console that gives you the ability to create real-time dashboards and uh, custom or general reports uh, directly from the browser. So um, typically, if you wanted to create reports that were pretty customized based off of readers or people, um, you had to kind of dig into crystal reports to get those custom reports built or, had, or you had to reach out to our custom solutions department. Now, if you have the, uh, the ability to do so, you can just do all those custom reports from our web-based reporting engine. Um, there is no, there is no charge for the base reporting. Um, we do have a license for some of the enhanced reporting features. It's a one-time cost. It's not very, it's not cost prohibitive. Um, but another thing that our customers have been asking about for a really, really long time, and we're able to finally deliver it with these, this browser-based reporting. Nice. Uh, another add to the browser browser space is the ability to bring in maps into uh, our browser applications. So before, typically, again. You had to use the thick clients to use mapping. Um, now those existing maps that are in your OnGuard application will be brought into the OnGuard monitor application. So same things like uh, being able to put devices on the maps, clicking on those devices and being able to unlock doors, mask events, uh, let people in if they are you know, buzzing in or things like activate a panic alarm or initiate a lockdown on a campus. Um, you no longer have to use a thick client for those types of functions, and you can do that all from the maps in the browser uh, of OnGuard Monitor. That looks really handy. Yeah, it's, it's pretty nice. Again, people have been asking us to do this stuff for a long time, um, and that's why this release is so important to us, because um, we get to make a lot of people happy and make, make everybody's lives quite a bit easier um, being able to do this stuff from the browser. Uh, another big announcement for this release is the ability to bring in milestone video channels into our browser thin clients. So before, if you had a milestone integration, uh, we, you know, we integrate with almost every leading VMS that's out there in the market today, uh, but we do have a 10 year partnership with milestone. They're our most trusted video partner in the space. Um, but, you could not view their video channels in our browser applications. But so with 8.0, we now have that ability. So whether you want to use our monitor client, our free surveillance application, uh, you can bring those video channels and have some command and control, view those video events that might be tied to an access control event um, and do that all from the, uh, from the thin client. Um, all while being able so that you can still be a milestone X protect power user. If you are a, vid a video centric uh, user that still needs the power of a full scale enterprise class VMS, you can use their client still. Um, but if you want to have that access control linkage or just want to set up a very simple to use uh, surveillance viewing station where you just have a couple cameras up on the monitor, um, you can do that through the integration through Linnell now. So um, lots of options, lots of flexibility. Um, and again, getting you away from those installed applications and into an easy to use browser app to make everybody's lives a little bit easier. Like it. And last and not least, uh, the last thing that everybody has been wanting for a long time is when do I know when my software support agreement is expiring? Uh, we now have a notification mechanism built into the browser applications and the thick client applications uh, to notify you of when your SUSP is going to be expiring. So, 
No more questions or calling up your integrator to say, hey, when do I need to renew this or getting a surprise uh, bill for your SUSP renewal? Um, you'll have not have that built right into the software. So wow, that's great. That, um, that's my time. So Erica, thanks again for having me. It's great to give it a short pitch instead of an hour long pitch. So um, yeah, thanks again for having me. I'm super, super grateful to be here. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Mike, for not making it an hour because I told you only 15 minutes. So I appreciate that. Uh, goodness. So yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. And um, wanted to let people know really quickly before we did jump into questions that next week, same time, same place, uh, we are going to be talking about FAT. That's factory acceptance testing with Brian Shipley, our building automation group. So um, please mark your calendars for next, next week, um, next Thursday at 10 a.m. Contact information is there. And with that, um, so I understand, you know, if folks need to jump off, that's, it's been 15 minutes, but I'm going to go through questions, um, starting with the, the ones I can see first, and I'll scroll backwards. Um, first question, Mike, uh, does OnGuard develop APIs regularly with third-party manufacturers to, to deliver a true open solution? That's air quotes there, quotation marks. Yeah, 100%. So, uh, our legacy API was known as Data Conduit. That was a Windows-based WMI API that was pretty cumbersome and difficult to write to. Uh, as of 7.3 or 7.4, so for the last couple of years, uh, we have a new Open Access API, which is a REST-based JSON API um, that is available to license and pretty much write whatever you would like to our application. Um, so that uh, API is now a requirement. So if you want to become a partner of ours and possibly write uh, a marketable application into OnGuard, that is an option too. Or if you are an end user and you want to do your own HR integration or um, anything of that nature, uh, our REST-based API is available for you to license and write to. So yeah. Okay, very good, thank you. Um, next, can it monitor indoor environment slash HVAC? Um, yeah, so not necessarily, so, you know, typically OnGuard is an access control product. So our hardware um, has the ability to take any input from any sort of device that's out there, whether it be a water bug or a temperature sensor or something like that. Um, so you can monitor devices that way. Uh, we do have a controller, it's the X4420 controller that, do, that does has, have uh, 63 virtual IO points of BACnet. So if you did want to tie like a building automation system um, or something, anything that supports BACnet, uh, you can integrate those BACnet uh, inputs and outputs into OnGuard for any type of advanced linkage or monitoring and things of that nature. Awesome, very good. Are there any um, limitations to the browser-based version? Yeah, sure. Um, I can follow up with Erica and uh, get you guys some white papers on the browser applications. And in those white papers, we do make some call outs where we kind of uh, allude to some things that you might still have to use the thick client applications for. Um, most notably, the first thing that I would maybe think of is any sort of manual encoding. If you are creating cards uh, and you have to have uh, and, and your process is taking that badge and manually encoding it on an encoder in front of you, um, you would have to use a thick client application to do things like that. Um, so there are some little caveats here and there. The browser applications don't take, uh, don't cover 100% of what the thick clients do, but we're getting pretty close. Um, so, so yeah, I can definitely follow up with those white papers where we make those call outs on, on what you still would require for to use the thick clients for. Okay, very good. And um, how does Magic Monitor work? Is an app based and installed on a computer and costs? That's a lot of questions all in one spot. No, I'll try to answer it really briefly. So, Magic Monitor is an installed Bit Client application, um, and uh, it is licensed per client, so per installed. So, on the computer that you install it on, that takes up a client license. Um, and then the nice thing about Magic Monitor is that you kind of build a network of those Magic Monitors if you wish, uh, or a network of those Magic Monitor clients. And then you can command and control what gets displayed from those Magic Monitor clients from anywhere within the security network. Um, so it's not something you have to deploy and use everywhere, but it is licensed per client 
Um, and then uh, if you need costs, uh, you guys can uh, work with Erica and she can, she can get that stuff to uh, pretty, pretty easily. But it's not cost prohibitive in any way. Um, I would say I think it's comparable to licensing like an access control client uh, from us or, or, or NetBox. Okay. And then um, cost for the 8.0 upgrade. Uh, free, as long as your SUSP is uh, current. Yep, exactly. We'll need some labor costs, but other than that, right? Let's see, explain the process to upgrade yep. to 8.0 from an earlier version of software. Um, well, if depending on how early, uh, and you never know, I, I had a customer call me Friday of last week, who was on OnGuard 6.0, the initial version of OnGuard 6.0, which was 2008. Um, and they're a large company. And he just said that, you know, it's kind of worked so well and never had any real issues with it that we just kind of forgot about it. And, you know, it's on server 2003. Um, and now something happened. They had a power outage and one of the USB ports wasn't recognizing the old hardware dongle ID. Um, so his path is more, you know, more, most of the cost is upgrading the servers and getting all of their operating systems on a modern operating system. Um, so that's typically your, uh, the biggest, the biggest, um, obstacle from an upgrade perspective, as long as you are at least on version 6.x, which is any version of 6.0 or newer, it is a single path upgrade, meaning that. Um, you need to take that database and update it one time. You don't have to take it from version 6 to 7 to 7.2 and then to 8. Uh, you typically would install your uh, server-based application in your new hardware, your new ecosystem with the updated operating systems, and then update that database one time using our database upgrade utility, and then you're ready to roll. Very good. Great. I'll, I'll just check in the chat. That looks like um, it with the questions. So Mike, thank you so much for answering those questions for us, taking the extended time to do that. Of course. Love Portland in your background there. And uh, yeah, just thank you so much. And just a reminder again, next Thursday is uh, factory acceptance testing with Brian Shipley. So thank you all. I'll stop recording and uh, we'll see you next week.